two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Teddy, what advice did you consistently give to a fast fighter in a situation like this, a speed fighter, when he was fighting a guy with low standards? Put yourself in position where you can use that speed, where you can control things, the dimensions you want. Stay on the outside, be able to use that ring. Make the guy walk to you. Make the guy burn up. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Duran's right hand scores well. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. Well, that's the classic wet noodle foundation right there. He's on wobbly legs. Yeah, and it's not al dente. It's really, really wet noodles. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Solid left hand to the head. Able to land with the right. <laughs> Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. Nice combination, throwing more than one. Both scored there. Teddy, he's been staggered and stunned, and now these flailing arm shots. Yeah, he's going to leave himself more wide open. Right now, he'd be better off not throwing, just defending. <laughs> Good return fire that time. That's a huge shot, that left hand from Duran. And now they're trading blows. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. He missed with that head shot. And we come to the end of the round. Roberto Duran's in control of things in his mind right now. Just look at that attitude over in the corner. You can tell they want a repeat performance of that knockdown round they just had. Okay, very nice. How you feeling? Good? Okay. You need to finish this with the hook. Finish with the hook. It's easy. It's there. Just like we practice in the gym. New round underway here. He's hoping that it doesn't look like the last stanza where he was knocked down. But well, this is a sport, a profession where hope is attached to something very tangible. You know, it's not just a notion, we hope, but it's attached to his jab, it's attached to his head movement. He has a good jab, he has good head movement. Guess what? He has hope he'll be okay in the next round. Super two punch combo by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran blocks that. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And he engages in the clinch, locks it away. He's doing a really good job here of being patient, and patient with a good reason. Teddy, you can tell he's got a counterpuncher mentality. What's the key to being a counterpuncher? Well, being patient, first of all, 
and understanding what you have to get your opponent to do to help you because this doesn't work just on you. It's not like the front end where you create it. It's a little help from your opponent. He's got to come in. you got to draw him into throw a punch so you can make a miss, and then you have to alleyway to land something. Solid okay. right by Bring Roberto Duran. And he just holds on there. Halfway through this round here. Like a sledgehammer, that uppercut by Roberto Duran. Turns over the hook after turning away his opponent's shot. A little head hunting with the right. Hard to believe they can still give like this in these final moments of what has been a sensational round. I feel like I'm back at the amusement park on a roller coaster again, like a kid. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Roberto Duran showing that he was well trained, utilizing the uppercut when he's chest to chest, shoulder to shoulder against his opponent here. Oh, you have to recognize situations, and he understands on the inside that's exactly what you should be doing. When your opponent has his gloves up, there's an opening to split the guard, especially when he's leaning forward, and he's leaning forward just a little bit. Back and forth exchange. Well, he's committed to the left hand, and it's paying off here. Missed the body shot. So the round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy here ringside, and we've been enjoying sitting ringside because, Teddy, I know you have some of your fine guests from the Dr. Theodore Atlas Charitable Foundation with us here tonight. And they're having a great night, and it's great to have them here. The thing that I want to say is thank Let's you to go. all the people that help us help many. They trust us. They allow us to be the middleman to give out the resources where they're needed. Thank you for mentioning, Joe, and thank you to all the people that help us do what we do. Underway. Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Roberto Duran. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Parries that punch intended for the head. And he's holding. Change. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Pace yourself. Good defensive skill. Roberto Duran's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Turn the sender with the left hand. Good, strong combo. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Huge uppercut from Duran. And he's really doing a nice job of hitting the mark with the jab. And that's exactly what he needs. And it's not hard to hit the mark when the mark's coming at you. The right choice of a punch. Duran's left working well that time. He just missed that shot up top. 
There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Very nice uppercut landing again by Roberto Duran. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Good fundamental work landing the one-two there. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. You gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now, you're not winning this fight, right? You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there. What did I tell you? Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? Round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Roberto Duran's up two rounds to one. Teddy hasn't necessarily distinguished himself in any one area other than he's been a little more active. Yeah, he has been more active. The only thing that I worry about as a trainer, I would be concerned he has to work harder than the other guy to get things done. Does that hurt him down the road? What a shot. Big hook comes in. There it is. He just went down. The infighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. Duran's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. <laughs> Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking one. Locks that belt line well. Able to land the hook to the head. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Right hand downstairs. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Good-looking right hand after he got hit. Good one, too, by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings that the trainers used to say, just get off first. That's what he's doing right now. He's getting off first. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Roberto Duran. Not much action as he just ties up. <laughs> Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, get to your feet. 
And that's the end of round four. Roberto Duran's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. if those 60 seconds were enough, Teddy. He was knocked down in that last round. Now he's right back out there. That 60 seconds has been enough for fighters in his position before. This sport's been around way over 100 years. It's up to him to do the things he needs to do early on in this round. Roberto Duran's got to be really careful there, Teddy. I mean, he's leaving himself wide open. And what's going to happen next? See, you know, he's leaving himself open. He hasn't paid for anything yet, but... Wow, impactful short hook. Look at that! And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Durant's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. Roberto Duran's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Taking a bit of a breather here, just tying up, hugging his... He is damaged badly there. And bang, and away he goes. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's over. This fight is over. Roberto Duran smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit, because he knew this was possible, and they got it. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.